What's popping y'all? Cheap bastard talking to ya. Today I have a really interesting video for you. I'll try to answer a question that no one probably ever asked. Who will bottleneck? My old i7-2600K from 2011 or the brand new AMD Vega 56? My test system contains 4 core 8 thread Intel Core i7 2600K running stock at 3.8 GHz, 16 GB of DDR3 RAM and the Gigabyte Vega 56 Founders Edition. Enough talking, let's start testing! First game guys, and it's the Tomb Raider on Ultra settings. We got an average of 201 FPS, a minimum of 108 FPS and a maximum of 274 FPS. Pretty good if you ask me. On this game the bottleneck was the GPU, I mean. Coming right up is Fortnite on Epic settings. MSI trivia didn't work on Fortnite so I had to use fraps to measure FPS. So, we got an average of 94, a minimum of 52 and the maximum of 121 FPS. Since the MSI trivia didn't work, I could only guess who bottlenecked, the GPU or the CPU, but I'm sure it was the GPU. Do people still play this game? Leave a comment if I should change Fortnite into Apex Legends or any other game. Next game is GTA 5 on max settings with MSAA X4. We got an average of 67.8 FPS, a minimum of 50.3 and a maximum of 83.1 FPS. On this game the bottleneck was again the GPU. Moving on we got CSGO on ultra settings. We got an average of 163 FPS, a minimum of 60 and a maximum of 280 FPS. On this game neither the GPU or the CPU bottlenecked. The graphics card and the processor was using from 30 to 50% of its potential and never maxed out on the usage. The next game is Overwatch. On maximum settings we got an average of 113 FPS, a minimum of 63 and a maximum of 180 FPS. I expected the game getting more FPS, nevertheless the bottleneck on this game is GPU again. Well, it is time for the last game and you know what that means. The video is going to end soon. But that is not going to happen and I'm still here. The final game is Need for Speed Payback on Ultra settings. We got an average of 68.4 FPS, a minimum of 40.6 and a maximum of 105.3 FPS. And this time the bottleneck was CPU, finally something different. To conclude, most of the time the GPU was a bottleneck and yeah, an i7 from 2011 is still capable on working with new high-end hardware even today. Thank you for watching, stay cheap my dudes, cheap bastard out.